actually did this. Don't you guys think this is a little bit oh, cruel? Come on, she deserves it. That is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. weekend. Josh. Oh my God, what did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh, intervention time. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Someone outside. What the 
help? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. You must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Hannah, Jack. I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom 
in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Well, I see, I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Let's say a week, for example. Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? All right, all right, I sense that you suffer from a significant fear of, of the supernatural. What lies beyond the veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. Don't you agree? And what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? Please remember, this is only a game. Well, we seem to be out of time for this session. But we'll talk again very soon. Okay?
Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listeners, an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I got to say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the So, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes!
What? Bella, you hungry? Huh? Ah, damn it. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. That's it. Come on. <laughs> Cutie. <laughs> cool. Chris, you here? The bag's here, where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? I'm sorry, are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool, well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here.
Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. Think we'll get a visit from America's Most Wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right, here goes. Wow, nice shooting tits. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, it all came flooding back. Here goes fast. Hey, that's weird. The door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. After you. Oh, real gentleman. It must be really hard on Josh. I I don't know how he keeps it all together. I I'd be a wreck. Well, we're all just gonna have to keep an eye on him. Must be going through so much, and he seems like the kind of guy who's not gonna just ask for help, you know? What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. I only bought a mountain. was closer. 
Guess we gotta wait. How about the It's a big mountain. Yeah. It's so beautiful in the day, but at night just feels menacing, like a sleeping giant. You gonna publish? What? Your pretty poem. The sleeping giant of Blackwood Forest. Oh, shut up. I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. It's just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right, adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro, good talk. <laughs> you know what, let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends. To this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her train bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. <gasps> what the hell? Jess, hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Mike and M Split were together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. All right, all right, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. 
Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? I don't think it would have been like as pretty. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on! Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. All right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh! oh God. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Hey, whoa. <sighs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, what? Matt. I didn't mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Hey, wow. Man, I'm not really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. Uh, um, sure, uh, go, go ahead, knock yourself out, I guess. Oh, son of a bitch. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. Matt.
<laughs> you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh! <laughs> great. You can pay. You know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chicken? Oh! Ah! Hey! Oh, snap! <laughs> Hello? Come on. Hey, Mike! Boom! Shakalaka! Okay. Oh, you got me? Fair <laughs> Hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Oh no! Damn, Jess. Look what you did. I know, I know. Oh no, poor birdie, poor little Tweety Birdie. Stone cold, Jess. I didn't do it on purpose. Oh my God. Michael? Oh, <laughs> gotcha, it's done. Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My, my, so are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Ho oh, ho, okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. Did you hear that? Uh, yes, yeah, sounds like. <laughs> Jess, look out! Ah! Oh my god! That was really close. Good to know I've got a hot BOD. I'll say. Bodyguard on demand. Whoa. Sexy and smart. Roll up your tongue and let's get back to the lodge, hot bod. session we established that you have a fear of things that are dead or undead. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious.
Oh. Did that startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Cockroaches, scarecrows, and awful. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> uh, well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but. Promise, we'll talk again very soon. Going. It was just a prank, Han. No! Shut up! First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. For, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back. And next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah? That feels the same to me. Probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey guys, get up here okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but it's so good to see you. What's up with him? Yo, yo, we get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. So Matt and Emily are a thing now, right? Yeah, so it seems. I mean, what's Mike think of that? I have a feeling Mike's already got his hands full, you know what I mean? Huh. Damn it, it's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in, they're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like get open or something. Wait a second, are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Hi, Chris. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice.
Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? No. Absolutely. When are you going to take her to the bone zone? <laughs> like, that could ever happen. Come on, man. She practically spends her entire life with you as it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Maybe you're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Koshis, or else you got four lovely ladies who are gonna be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh, shoot. Nobody likes cool buns. juice here. I just had to turn off my GPS. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. attention at climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. D did I do that? I, d I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. Well, what, what is it? Okay, so... I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I got gotcha. you. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. Huh. 
looks cool. Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be like getting the lock open or something? On it.
Buns off out here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> ah, crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. And yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Make yourself at home, bro. We'll do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. What the hell were you doing with M out on the trail? What? I saw you and M. Through the telescope. Before? We just ran into each other. It's been a while, so we hugged and I said hello. Is that against the law? Right. Yeah. Duh. Sorry, it's been kind of a long day. I overreacted. Nah, man. Don't worry about it. Be cool? Yeah, yeah, totally. Oh my god, that is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. Em, come on. No, shut up, Matt. Stay out of it, you dumb oaf. Hey, watch it. Oh, you're the only one who can put him down? No one else can play with your toys? You're such a bitch. Whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. Honor roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Emily, stop. This is out of hand. There's no reason to fight like this. Yeah, Em. Why are you picking fights over your ex-boyfriend, huh? Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. Okay, if we can't get along for ten minutes, then maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. You wanna go do that? Any place without that whore. It's right up the trail. Glad that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, 
She was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Whoa. Well, do I, you? I guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. <sighs> Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And then we can get warm? We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. <sighs> Exiled. Sexiled. <laughs> Works for me. Oh, bar. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars. You're gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see you. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. Something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. Huh. Guess this thing needs juice or something. Didn't Josh say there was a generator? Mike! Generator! All right, got it. All right, let's see. Boom. Nice one, Mikey. Woo! You are a wizard. Sam, the gates shall open. Pretty good, right? Yeah, totally. No, this is awesome. Oh, yeah. I bring the hits. <laughs> you psyched yet? You don't look psyched yet. I am psyched. So psyched right now. <laughs> it's like a little adventure, a sexcapade. Wow. Police tape. 
Hannah and Beth. I think they'd clean it up. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. Well, wherever they are, I'm sure they're happy we're all thinking about them. That's a nice way of thinking about it. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, a.k.a. Wax Museum, to drink... Ah! Ah! Jess! Fuck! Hey, Jessica! Yep! Hey! I'm okay! Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. How do you think I felt? Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you get out? I... I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. Alright, coming after you. Just stay put. Hey, handsome. Wanna help me move this cart thing? Grunting together. This is not what I pictured. Not the good kind of willies. Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? <laughs> we'll save it for the cabin, Buster. This is like historical. Holy bat cave. He's gotta be Native American, right? I don't think the miners were getting their arts and crafts on, no. You alright? Yeah. Close one. I don't think this place is up to code. Yeah, I'm thinking it's time to go.
place is a real fixer-upper. Well, well, when Josh said cabin, I felt like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? Eh, I'm gonna take a ride on Air Force One. <laughs> all right, all right. Save it for the stump speech, buddy. Oh, a telescope. Gonna look at the trees, gonna look at the clouds, gonna look at the cabin. Um, whoa. You all right? I just saw someone at the cabin. Okay. Let me see. Sampling the old eggnog again, babe? It's just us up here. Uh, maybe. Hey, Jess? Mm-hmm? Stay close by, okay? What's up? Uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Oh, Michael, I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. Come on, please. Come on. Let's not hug a bear. Answering his meeting. Wow, you're easy. Yeah, you got a lot of love to give. <laughs> I'm scared. Josh, can you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here? <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half-empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. <laughs> oh, boo! Show off. Hey, Mike. You got something on your face. That's how it's gonna be. 
guys. <coughs> Jess! Sammy! What? You want to help me get this fire going? Uh, well, I was just getting into the bath. Oh. Oh, do you need any help with that? Hardy R. Come on. All right, Josh, let's see if you know how to hook up the hot water in your big fancy lodge. much Those things are a joke, man. They don't do shit. No way, bro. I mean, we used to do it all the time, me and... Well... Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys, see if you can find the spirit board. Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um... Okay. Guess so. Brad. You're not gonna regret it. You up for a ride along? how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together. Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time.
They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over, you know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> Sam. Yes, Josh. I just wanted to say. Uh, what? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and you know that you came, Sam. Josh, we're here for you. Really, whatever you need, whenever, we're all gonna make it through this. Together. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? Hey, watch your step. I think I can handle a little old set of stairs. Mm -hmm. Sorry to drag you down into the bow. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. Rough playing baseball out in all that snow. No, it, it wasn't in the winter, silly. I mean, we'd come up in the summer and we would have the best time. The whole family was there. Mom, Dad, my sisters. It was some serious competition out there on the big lawn. I don't know. Can't go back. New reality, right, Sam? Anyway. I'm supposed to be fixing this whole guy, right? Here, can you can you hold this? What was that? What was what? Just shine it here so I can see what I'm doing. Hey, can you just keep the light so I can see, okay? Nice one. Okay, first things first, we gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mm, sounds kind of complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. Ah, oh, damn. It's okay, I'm just, try again. Quit it. <laughs> I'm just, just joshing you. Oh, 
<laughs> well, you were really freaked out. or some problem with the furnace. Unlikely. If it were me, I wouldn't want this place to burn down on my watch. Yeah, right. Was I not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Are you... are you serious? Were you in on this, putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. I'm ready to admit that your dumb little prank may have a slight whiff of humor. Joke master! Well, I, I said nothing about jokes. I said your prank. Which was dumb. Holy crap, you were scared, admit it. I was not! Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh! What in God's name are you wearing? I found my true calling. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you're gonna take a vow of silence. <laughs> okay, okay, did you at least find the thingy? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. Mm. All right? So have fun. Oh, but watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Okay. to understand your feelings toward people who fear the supernatural ghosts, spirits, and other intangible forces beyond the veil. Do you share this fear? <sighs> then how do you feel about people who are afraid? Well, Mike has a fear of isolation. Do you feel pity for him? Well, this is not reflected in the way you are playing your game now, is it? Now 
now, let us investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. What you value, what you respect in yourself and others. Which would you say was most important in a person, loyalty or honesty? Yeah. So, you would tell the truth, even if it resulted in an unpleasant outcome for a friend. And what about honesty then, and charity? Charity is overrated, I suppose. Better to be true to yourself than to help others in need, eh? Oh, well, once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy of Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Boom. Butterfly effect. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness... Stop it! Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin and what I told you about? Yeah. yeah, all right. Did you hear that? What in God's name are you wearing? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. Oh, watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Well, if that's how it's gonna be... Jess? <coughs> Jess! So, it says here, to communicate with...